Here's the difference between primary and secondary succession. In primary ecological succession, the ecosystem must rebuild after being completely destroyed to the point where even the soil is gone. Whereas, in secondary ecological succession, the ecosystem rebuilds when the soil is still intact. So the main difference between these two types of ecological succession is the presence of soil in the beginning of the process of succession. In fact, the main feature of primary ecological, ecological succession is soil formation. So primary ecological succession can occur on a newly formed volcanic island or on a rock exposed from a receding glacier. Those are just two random examples. And the first organisms to colonize the area are called pioneer organisms. This makes sense. Pioneers are the first types of people to colonize an area, so pioneer organisms are the first organisms to colonize a destroyed land or a newly formed land. So these pioneer organisms are generally mosses and lichens. And we talked about how they are spore bearing plants because spores are light and easier to carry over by the wind. And so these pioneer organisms, particularly lichen, has a special feature that helps the process of soil formation. And lichens are able to secrete toxins into the rocks and break them down into soil. So this is one of the first steps of soil formation. Soil formation can also occur over time through the wearing down of the rocks by weather and by water. The third type of soil formation is when the mosses and lichens die and their biomass is degrade, uh, degrades into soil. So these are the three different things that contribute to soil. Um, secondary ecological succession can occur after a small forest fire or after a log company clears a piece of land. So this doesn't exactly look like a small forest fire, but let's pretend this is a small forest fire. And when this fire burns down the trees, it still keeps the soil intact. So then it doesn't have to go through the all the processes that primary succession does for soil formation. So it is it doesn't have any pioneer organisms because there are already organisms within the soil and around the soil that have um, that are residues from the old ecosystem. And depending on how bad or um, how much is left of the old ecosystem, the um, secondary ecological succession can just start in the middle of succession and then grow from there into the final climax community. So remember, the main difference between primary and secondary ecological succession is the soil formation in primary ecological succession.